Do you know what time it is? Story time! And who is always the star of our story? Pokeroo! That's right, it's Pokeroo. Who should we have in the story today with Pokeroo? Marigold and Dumpty. Marigold and Dumpty? Why not? Dumpty, you can sit there. Okay, can you hang on to that? Thank you. And Marigold, you can sit right down here. Now, let me see. Ah, here's a story with Marigold and Dumpty. This is a fun one. Is everyone seated? Yeah. And everyone comfortable? Yeah. Good. The name of our story today is Pokeroo the Painter. And it's a different kind of story because it's all in rhyme. Pokeroo wanted to start to paint a wonderful work of art. He would paint when he got set a beautiful portrait of Bibble, his pet. on that day, Bibble would rather go outside and play. Why not put something in Bibble's place? Something he wouldn't have to chase. He looked for subjects of different sorts. Hmm. A great big pair of polka dot shorts? That wouldn't do. What would suit? Paint this bowl of fruit. Kokaroo <laughs> thought he would faint. He'd forgotten to get some paint. He looked here, he looked there, he looked for paint everywhere. Pokeroo, it's in the garage, he spluttered. It's in the garage where it's very cluttered. Dumpty stopped by for a snack. He was playing outside and had to get back. Some yummy fruit, that's what my wish is. Look at that bowl, it looks delicious. <laughs> Pokeroo was not amused and just a little bit confused. He had only one small complaint. He didn't know what else to paint. Then Marigold came in to say, Pokeroo, come out to play. It's really nice out. By the way, what's with that goofy red beret? And then Pokeroo, he knew that he would paint, well, you know who. I don't think Pokeroo is finding it very easy to paint a picture, do you? No. Who do you think he's going to paint next? Marigold! I think he's going to paint Marigold, too. Let's find out what happens. Marigold agreed to pose to let him paint her head to toes. Dumpty thought they'd come to play. He found out he was in the way. Pokeroo meant 
Stand here, if you will. Marigold, please stay perfectly still. <laughs> Pokaroo meant I don't want to be mean. But stand over here where you won't be seen. Stand very still. Don't move. Just stay. You can watch, but don't get in the way. Uh-oh! <laughs> Pokeroo, moaned Pokeroo. I'm afraid this will not do. Dumpty thought it rather grim. Why wouldn't Pokeroo paint him? When he cried a big boo-hoo, Marigold started sobbing, too. <laughs> Pokeroo didn't know what to do, and then he thought, why not paint, too? At last, a pose he could approve. He told them both they mustn't move. But staying still was hard, they found, when a fly was buzzing round. And so there was a slight delay while they all chased the pest away. Poor Pokeroo felt so defeated. His painting would never be completed. But even when some things went wrong, our Pokeroo was very strong. Though painting efforts went astray, he would not let it spoil his day. Though painting didn't quite work out, Pokeroo's not one to pout. So he took a photograph to remind them how he made them laugh. <laughs> well, I'm glad Pokeroo finally got some kind of picture. But now it's time to put our book back on the shelf. And whenever you want to, you can read it yourself. Why don't we come up to the table and draw our own pictures, just like Pokeroo was doing? Come on up. Got some crayons here. That's right. Why don't you come over here?